all right guys fuller coming to you with another video shout out to the whole ldbc so in this video i kind of want to talk about the um uh, the transfer saga going on in football with two people and the fact that arsenal still wants these two people now um what i want to say about this transfer is that you know um i'm pondering like if it's going to help our arsenal i wonder if it's going to turn arsenal into instant like contenders for a, a premiership title you know i'm a gut part of me says yeah possibly but another part of me says no because they need to stock up on defense you know um now you know, I don't know how true these rumors are. I don't know how um, how accurate they are, but there is like still rumblings about Arsenal not only getting Lil's Nicholas Pepe, but also getting um, Wilfred Zaha. That they have not given up Wilf the pursuit of Wilfred Zaha. You also have. Um, you know Mahmoudou Sako coming out and saying that you know the uh, the the sale of Wilfred Zaha will not affect um, Crystal Palace you know um, now the thing is is that if Arsenal does succeed at buying these two uh, players you know that's a hell of a one two punch you know having those two that's really like a like I mean and them playing up front I mean not only will you get speed not only will you get pace not only will you get technique but you'll get goals too you know with those two up front now you also will get some cohesiveness since they're countrymen since they both play for Ive Colts so they're used to playing with each other which could contribute into a hell of a you know a hell of a duel man now um what needs to be said though however is that uh you know with them being a duel they'll still have to get acquainted into the system that Arsenal offers, you know. Um, but, I mean, with those two, man, that's that's a hell of a duel. Like, um, the only thing that would, like, be a question is that if Nicolas Pepe can adjust to the physicality of the premiership, you know, will he be able to... Um, get on board you know and be able to uh really flourish in that um there was another ivorian guy who played for um i believe it was inter milan and he just kind of fell by the wayside uh but he played for france though so he was a french international uh his name i think was uh something uh like uh, it, it's, it was like a Johan. I, I don't remember exactly. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, he he played for uh, Inter Milan. He played for the France national team. But then, like he just kind of fell by the wayside, and now he plays for Parma. I think you know. Uh, now, another another thing that needs to be said is that there's another guy. Um, I want to say his name is um, Moises King, you know, who's an Italian international, but he played, he's of Ivorian descent. Uh, they're trying to bring him over to the premiership. And I think that, you know, this pursuit of Wilfred Zaha and this pursuit of, um, you know, Nicholas Pepe, 
kind of opens the door for him to more likely go to the premiership because, uh, you know, Everson has said that they're done chasing him. You know, they, they said that, you know, he's like Wilfred Zaha is the, the hope of getting him is next to nil now. So the fact that they have said this opens up the opens up the possibility that Moises King will be an Everton player. You know, we don't know for sure. But I mean it just kinda it could happen due to the simple fact that um, you know I wanna say that um, I wanna say that there was a Senegalese national that just left from Everton to PSG uh, Gay, yeah Gay, I should say went from um, you know Everton to Paris now but I mean Arsenal is still kind of man doing their same policy that they've done before under Arsene Wenger when they get these young guys and these young guys are are not really built for the truck. You know what I mean? These young guys kind of can't really deliver the goods on a big stage like that, you know? I feel that Arsenal needs to mix it up a little bit more. That Arsenal needs to add a, 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 a combination of youth, a combination of... Um, experience and the physical uh, combination as well you can't have like all these just small players you know despite that the fact that technique always beats um, group strength you still got to have some players man that are gonna be able to offer that physicality I mean when you look at Barcelona you look at the likes of uh, like Yaya Toure who had the technique and um, the physicality. You look at the likes of, uh, you know, Carlos Puyo. You look at the likes of, uh, mm, who else can we say? Uh, I mean, even uh, Seidu Keita, you know, was a strong presence, you know. And a midfield presence that can play in a variety of places too. Because the reason why I compared them is because you know Arsenal have a similar style to Barcelona and how they play, you know. And so that's why I'm kind of like saying that yeah, you guys got to do some stuff, man. If you're to challenge and win a premiership, you know. Now there's some talk. I don't know how true it is, but they're talking about. Obama Yang being sold to Manchester United. Now, if he sold to Manchester United, that would just mean that they definitely would have to go after. Um, they definitely would have to go after uh, those two players because what would happen is that you would be leaving you would be leaving a void in the attack. So with that being said, you know, you definitely would have to pursue those. Those would have to be two targets that you would have to add to your attack. You know, at the same time though, I don't know if Nicolas Pepe, although he's a hell of a player, he's a very good player, you know, like a quiet assassin. He has, he has it, you know. He had it so much that even Barcelona wanted to buy him and were inquiring about him, you know. Don't get me wrong. But I think, you know, with the physicality of the premiership, it would it would take at least one season for him to get uh, adjusted, you know. So you would still you would still need someone else that's going to be um that's going to help in the process of, you know, competing for a title. But, you know, it remains to be seen what's going to happen. You know, I guess you can say that
personally, I'm concerned with the London teams based on the fact that I have family in London. So, you know, with the fact that, with that being the fact, you know, I just uh, center around like, you know, Arsenal, Chelsea, uh, you know, and Tottenham. Basically, the the teams that do things, you know, the teams that kind of are moving and shaking in London, you know. You know, the smaller London teams like West Ham, um, I think uh, Queen's Park is another one. Uh, you know, I don't really focus on them so much, you know. I focus on the ones who are possibly competitors in the in the um, premiership. Now, granted, I don't really have a preference for teams, for London-based teams. Like, I look at all of them, but I don't really, like, necessarily have a favorite. But um, I guess you can say it's interesting to see what Arsenal is doing. You know, um, but I think that, like, they still have some voice that they need to cover in terms of their midfield and whatnot. They need, like, creativity in their midfield, which they kind of lack, you know. Unless they're going to have Nicolas Pepe play in the mid, you know, but he's more of a tack minded player. You know, unless you're going to have Wilfred Zaha playing behind the striker because even Wilfred Zaha has said that you know, his inspiration has always been Ronaldinho. So, I mean, if you have him there, you know, I'm not saying he would pull Ronaldinho's stuff, but, I mean, with that mentality, it could produce some good results. But anyhow, man, that's all I got for now, man. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Let me know what you think Arsenal's going to do. Let me know uh, if you feel that they're going to be able to compete with uh, the top dogs if they do get these two um, purchases. Fuller signing out. Enjoy.